G'day everybody, it's Luke Fitzpatrick here. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. Today I just want to do a quick little video to show you another really handy feature that I've found on the Hummingbird Min Coder Link System. All right, so I've got the Altera 80 pound, 60 inch Min Coder fitted to the boat and it is linked to my Hummingbird Solix 12. And I'm finding lots of groovy little features. Some of them probably not so useful for me the way I fish, but there's a couple in particular which I really, really love. And one of them that I want to show you today is the circle feature. So we'll go down to the sounder. Okay, so in front of us we have a marker. Okay, I'm going to use a hard mark purely to show you how it works above the water but you can have a mark under the water as well uh, like a bit of reef or something where you can exact use this exact same feature of the link system all right so the first thing we got to do is we need to deploy the Altera it's a beautiful thing absolutely love it so good for my back. I've got a lower, bit of a lower back problem and that just saves me so much angst. Okay, now all you have to do is touch your screen. This is a touch screen. The Solix is a touch screen. I believe the Helixes aren't, but uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't work on the Helix. So we move our cursor over to the mark and then we say go to. Now it brings up a whole heap of options here. I can either just motor over to the point with the electric I can motor over and spotlight right on top of it, if it was a reef or something, or I can circle it. Okay, I've got the option of circling at the cursor or at the vessel. In this case, I want to circle at the cursor. Okay, 30 meters, sounds pretty good. I want to go clockwise, no worries. What I need to do is make sure that the motor is on. So I'll put it on about speed six. Turn the prop on, and then I'll say I want to go clockwise. Navigation has started. It starts doing all of it on its own. And what you'll see is the track will move over to the 30 meter circle, and then it'll just start guiding itself around on that 30 meter circle, meaning that I'm completely hands-free, completely hands-free now, to just cast and cast and cast straight at that mark. Now, if it was a bit of reef, if it was the uh, a rock ledge, um, anything really that you basically want to target, it could be a, a bit of an area of a patch of reef, in which case you just make the circle a little bit bigger. So you can see already the motor's, the motor's turning around. Okay, so it's now taking us on that track around the mark. So it could be an area of reef or something like that. You just set your circle a little bit bigger and you can circumnavigate around it, hands free. It takes account for wind, tide, all that sort of stuff and just leaves you completely to concentrate on your fishing. How good is that? An awesome feat. It's, it's cheating. I know it's cheating. It is ridiculous how easy this thing makes things. All right, so let's go around and uh, I hope for the sake of this video, please let me pull a fish off this mark. If I don't, oh well, we at least know about the circle fish. So I'm completely hands-free now, away from the controls. The boat's moving. It's ridiculous. And I can just fish. Oh, yep. Oh, he dropped it. Something just had a crack at that plastic then. Oh, I really wanted to catch a fish for this video. That would have been perfect. Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to get it back in there now. Hope I've still got a plastic on. Pink. The old Z-Man in pink. Oh, righty, hey, let's go again. See, I don't have to worry about moving back or anything like that. I can just concentrate on doing this. And what it will do is it will just keep going until I tell it to stop. So it won't sort of go back to its start point and then just pause. It'll just keep going around and around until I tell it to stop. 
That fish is on the other side, I reckon. If he's still there, he might be spooked by now. So I just made it a little bit bigger. You can see how we've come all the way around that mark. You can see the blue line is the track of the boat. The red line was the uh, track that the sounder created. And it's pretty much followed it really accurately. And as I said, it's it just keeps going. So until you tell it to stop, it'll just keep going around and around in circles. You can change the direction, change your speed. If you hook up to a fish, you can cancel this navigation and spot lock if you need to spot lock and fight the fish. But we're just going around and around. How good's that? Super handy feature, folks. Really, really easy. Hands free. How good is that? Absolutely gold dust. Love it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you out in the water one day. Take care.